Um, so it's important when, <coughs> since obviously it'll be the patient that needs it when you're talking to people, and I'll do the same over there. If they're care, if a caregiver is there or, or a spouse or something, to let them know how to give it to you because they're the ones that are really going to be giving it. Um, I don't have a, a demo, unfortunately, but it's a nasal spray. It comes in a two-pack. So there's two nasal sprays. Um, when you when you come across somebody that may have had an opioid overdose or suspected, go ahead and give it either way because it's not going to hurt them if they have it and it'll save their life if they did. Um, you're going to get put them on their back and support their neck. And I have a little document here that kind of shows how to hold it, but I'll let you guys look at that later. Basically, you're going to put your two fingers on either side and your thumb on the depressor. And when you, um, you're going to just give it one nostril first. And so when you put it, when they're laying on their back, you're going to put it up to their, your fingers up to their nostril and administer the whole dose. You don't have to prime it or anything like that because that's just going to waste the medicine. Um, so go ahead and give it until it goes all the way in. And then give them two to three minutes. If they don't respond, there is a second dose in there to go ahead and repeat the dose. And then you can keep doing that every two to three minutes. Make sure you call 911, get, get that going after the first dose. You can do CPR after the first dose, but basically just keep giving it. Your buprenorphine patients, you can give it as well. It may not be as effective on the first dose, so those people you may have to give even more because the drug doesn't dissociate from the receptors as quickly. So um, after you give it, if, you can, if, if they do respond, you can roll them over to their side, and then that's going to get them there better. So we're going to give